Suddenly show business erupted uh, and George M. Cohan was right in the middle of it all. He was, he was part and parcel of all that and, uh, and so, so we're going to address uh, the, the man of the theater and also the man of ragtime in our set today. And um, I think that's uh, all I have to say by way of preliminary. And so uh, to, to bring us on in a very Kohanish, ragtimeish uh, kind of way, I would like to present the, uh, the inimical duo of uh, James Parton and Charles Chuckles Gardner. Okay, mount the stage by any means possible. All right, here we go. Thank you. Are you set, boys? I believe so. Can you hear me? All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. B flat, Tom. One, two, one, two. I always roast Give me a Yankee march by Mr. Sousa Or Arthur Pryor What's that tune the band is playing now, honey? Now, honey, listen, ain't that music simply grand? <laughs> What's that tune the band is playing now, honey? Now, honey, everybody's singing with the band He loved to write songs about show business and also to drop the names of his rivals in the business and make and make mock 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 of them. And uh, here for that first mock is uh, the effervescent, as if she effervescent, Maria Boylan. 
who will tell us all about what it's like to be on tour in uh, New England, uh, Connecticut. Here we are. Okay. Way down in Connecticut Just to break it in for old Broadway When the train arrived with all The manager who ran the hall Met them at the depot with a frown Said he as he put out his hand I hear you haven't got a band The folks expect a street parade in town From and laughed and bowed his head The local manager he said business if you haven't got a band. The folks expect a street parade in uniform so grand. To the whole professional it may sound funny, but it's just the thing that'll get the money. You play an old New England one night stand in Connecticut. Sir Henry Irving came to town. He starved to death last fall. Oh, my Henry came along and he packed him to the wall. The town is sad, but your house is sadder and it wouldn't make a difference if the Lou Dobbs dad well, he won't do any business if you haven't got a band. He said, you folks should get some bills like Warden Vogue, some bills that show the chorus girls in tights. Or bills where someone's got a knife, gonna take the hero's life. Of course, Peyton packed him in here 20 nights. Went to the hotel, from and got the clerk. It was Johnny on the spot, said he, you'll pay your bill now, understand? You see, we never take a chance. We charge the actors in advance. That is, of course, unless they've got a band. Froman and laughed and held his breath. The clerk said, you'll all starve to death. You won't do any business if you haven't got a band. The folks expect a street parade in uniforms so grand. To the whole professional, it may sound funny, but it's just the thing that'll get the money. When you play an old New England one-night stand in Connecticut. Sir Henry Irving came to town. He starved to death last fall. Oh, why, Henry came along and he packed him to the wall. and gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, we have in the audience and soon on stage Mr. Cohan himself. That's right. We brought Mr. Cohan in this afternoon uh, to impersonate his own self and in fact his own, his entire own career to be uh, uh, delineated for you right now. Of course, uh, 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 it takes a lot of energy to uh, reincarnate oneself, and at this point he looks an awful lot like uh, Rick Rogers of Evans and Rogers. So uh, he's going to, now if you've consulted your glossary, you'll notice that the, it's, I'm all okay with K and E. And so, for instance, if you have been consulting your glossary, you would know that K and E stands for claw, and Erlinger, who are the big money men behind most of Cohan's shows and who in fact owned most of show business at that time. So you see that's a juicy tidbit of information that will serve you very well in the future and if you were to uh, the, like study the rest of the song you'd know everything there is to know about show business of that era. And now here is Mr. Cohan himself, Mr. Rick Rogers. Thank you. All right. All right. With an assist from the Song Boys Chorus. All right. Bye. 
Well, Mr. Cohan, you see, your voice carries so well that we didn't I think know. you needed a, a microphone. But the audience is asking for it. Ah. <laughs> ah. I knew they'd blow it. Yeah, but this is a guy taller than Cohan. Oh, uh-huh. Okay. All right. Try it now. Now that was working. Now it's working. That's right. What are they doing That's to me? Yeah, but they're lights. That's right. Lights over here. Uh -huh. That's what I want. Right. Okay, one more yes. time. That's one good. One more time. Yes, and muffle that phone over there, will ya? All right. Okay, here we go. A one, two, three, and... To have a brag about my own game And your own name The way I do But the boosting is the answer to my own fame And we guess you're fond of advertising too All the Humpty Dumpty managers are taking to the woods Taking to the woods Taking to the woods For I'm the only manager delivering the goods On Broadway I'm the only showman Put it over Mr. Froman. Why, Hammerstein salams to me. Belasco, Fisk, and Frank McKee. The Harrises and Haymans. And the other managers are up a tree. And I'd like to wager two bits that I'll paralyze the Schuberts. For I'm all okay with K and E. seem to think that I'm a wonder. He's a wonder. Or so they say. From musical affair to blood and thunder. He's the popular producer of the day. <laughs> All the actors come. That's right. All the actors come and hang around the offices for hours. The hours. Offices for hours. The place is full of flowers. Why, only yesterday I had a talk with Jimmy Powers. On Mr. Froman, why Hammerstein salams to me, Belasco, Fisk, and Frank McKee, the Harrises and Haymans, and the other managers are up a tree. If I ever lose my temper, I'll get wagon halls and Kemper, for I'm all okay with K and E. Doctor, for I'm all 